G'day there guys, my name's Philip Wong and um, I got a question from Seraphim, uh, who, very, very lovely person. Uh, I have met her at uh, VidCon yesterday and also, well, VidCon last year in 2017. And her question was regarding about how to record uh, great quality audio to uh, a smartphone. And um, you know, a, a lot of the videos that I do are recorded directly on the iPhone. And the iPhone's a perfectly capable platform. I'm currently using my DSLR with the big microphone on top, so the audio is not going to be quite as good because the best quality microphone I have is this SmartLav. And this SmartLav, okay, I'll use a yellow background so you can see it a little bit clearer. Right? But this little SmartLav here goes directly into a smartphone. Right? This is an iPhone 6 and it still has a jack for which an audio recording can be made. Unfortunately, if you have an iPhone, anything after the 6 Plus really, like this one, there is no jack down the bottom. So you're stuck with this awful thing. Thank you, Apple. <sighs> Annoying, right? In any case, this is important because the smart lab will fit into it quite neatly. This smart lab will go here and that'll get you fantastic quality audio. But unfortunately, this thing here is only one meter long. It's long enough so that you can put this here and start chuck that in your pocket, okay? Now, what if you wanna go out further? Well, you got yourself a problem here. And the problem here is um, about jacks. So you need to know the difference between TRRS, which is this jack here, and TRS, which is the standard three and a half millimeter jack. So if I put these here for comparison, hopefully we're in focus. So what you should be able to see here is the fact that uh, one of these has three bands on it and the other one only has two bands on it. And for this reason, if you have a headphone, such as a standard pair of Apple headphones, um, Android headphones are ever so slightly different, but they're roughly the same principle. What you have here is a set of two independent speakers and a microphone, plus a few buttons down there. And in order to get that much information in, they needed to basically put in more connections here so they had more bandwidth to shove more information down these little wires here. Now, um, this is important because the Smart Lab, which I'm actually wearing one, haha, -ha, looking for it pinned to my chest. Um, the smart lav is the same as a smartphone, right? Which is good. Well, obviously that could go straight into your iPhone if you've got a jack in there, all right? <clears throat> or an Android, whatever, right? However, if you want to go further afield and you want a very long extension such as this one here, right? This long extension, and most of them will be the old style of recorder, all right? And that old style, the TRS jack, is also what you will find here on the uh, H1 Zoom, and for that matter, most other professional recording equipment, okay? They're gonna use the traditional TRS standard, all right, three and a half millimeter jack. So, if you go into one of these, you're going to need an adapter. These adapters look like this, so we can see them for comparison. These adapters here, are actually going to be, um, uh, there's a black male and female. There we go. A gray male and female. So you have male TRRS to TRS, male TRS to female TRRS. All right, this is getting confusing as well, right? So that means that if you're going to use one of these very long extension leads, here's how we go. Start off with your lav, which is pinned to my chest. That matte lav is a gray one. The smartphone connector goes to go into the gray one. Then, if you use this, which is the long extension, this TRS goes to that TRS. That one there, the other male end, goes into that black one there. And now finally, that can go into my iPhone like that, boom. So this is really, really annoying, okay? Um, if I'm recording straight to, to uh, the DSLR, then I'll just use the traditional TRS, boom, straight in. Or, of course, if I'm going to the zoom, then that needs to go into this TRS like that. So, 
So unfortunately, it's a huge pain in the butt and you actually do need to know the difference between TRS and TRRS headphone jacks. I highly recommend that you get yourself one of these uh, Rode Smart Labs. They're fantastic. I wouldn't worry about the dead cat. I use my extension a lot and unfortunately, these things here are like 30 bucks each, these little, you know, so you, you need to think about these uh, uh, bits and pieces. It's not just the $70 for the microphone itself. Anyway, my name is Philip Wong. Thanks for watching. I hope you find that useful.